Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am here with Miss Sadie Fowler Parsons, and we're going to talk about what it's like to uh, win a world championship. Who knew? <laughs> How long have you been thinking about it? Oh gosh, you know, I really um, I started, but, well, I started in the walking horse business actually riding myself three years ago. So I think I was actually on this show and we were talking about me wanting to maybe get into it. And so I bought a horse that year at the celebration. Right. So I blame it on you. But I mean, so I'll, I'll take the blame. <laughs> I, I really um, would say that at the beginning of this season, I kind of like set my goals and my eyes on, you know, one day, like I really would like to actually do this, like win at the celebration. So my goal was kind of there, but I never in a million years thought I would actually win this year. There's no way. I, I, so. I, I was thinking that it would be you and the first horse you bought but that, um, that right was, uh, well there you go yeah that, major, so that's what my my goals were on my, yeah that that was, that on my was mind. a major tragedy but yes yeah then along come dim your lights <laughs> dim the lights yeah and uh it's it's uh i know but tell tell me when when you were in the ring and, and you were you were riding and of course you you go both ways and i what, what was going through your mind well First of all, Dim, you know, I bought her a year ago and we kind of struggled a bit to find our stride and, and, and you know, just I feel like all of a sudden, uh, you know, mid-season this year, she kind of peaked and uh, we had a couple of really good rides, but we messed up a little bit here. You know, we had like, you know, a tiny little flaw, but it was right in front of the judge or whatever. So it's hard to gauge like how good she was, but I was getting a lot of positive feedback about her. And so... I think in some way, a couple of people had made the comment like, you know, you could win that novice class with her. You know, I mean, so I knew she was pretty good and we were getting better as a team. Um, but when I was riding in the class, I, I just like hold my breath and think, please do not mess up. Like don't, you know, she broke into a canner once in Pulaski, for example, and otherwise we would have probably, she was really good otherwise. But I was just scared, like holding my breath, thinking like, just get through the class. It was a big class too. So. Um, and, and we did, um, you know, there was a long time out also. So that I think helped her. We had, she had a chance to catch her breath. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it just seems like it went on forever and ever. And, uh, but still I was not, I was just thinking if I can get like top three, that's gonna be like a huge victory for me. Well, you're sitting in the lineup. Uh-huh. And, and you're, it's, <laughs> got, it's gotta be racing through your mind about what well, she felt good. How good was she? Yes, it, it, it always is on my mind. Like, you know, you hope for the best. You, but I never, again, I just like never thought that we were going to win. And, and Kayla was coaching me um, that night because Tyler had a class in the very next class. So he was in the warm up ring. And so Jeanette was on the rail. Which she told me to tell you hi, by the way. Mm -hmm. But Kayla was like really strict with me. She was like, like, I couldn't tell if we did good, like, bad she, or good. She, Kayla's good. Yeah, she is. She was like, I wanted you guys to be, you were so good. I just, like, wanted to, like, push you harder, you know. But I couldn't tell if we were, like, that good or not. That's the first time Kayla's ever coached me. So I just, I really, um, I, I didn't know what to expect. So we're in the lineup, and it, it, again, it took, like, forever, it seems like, for the cards to all be turned in. And I just, I was... Uh, you know, thinking, yeah, we had we had a decent ride. We got through it. I was happy about that. Mm -hmm. I was really happy. A little nervous. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> I was really nervous. I was so nervous. Um, you know, I just thought, God, she just gave it her all. I knew I was happy with that. I was, you know, really happy. But you, we've had a lot of solid good rides, and again, that doesn't mean that you win. No, you know, it never ever. means it. Never, mm -hmm. it so, never means no. you win. No, I mean, I, you know, it's all new to me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then. Yeah, I try to be like pretty conservative. I don't like, I'm kind of a private, pro like I don't have a lot of emotions on my face all the time. Like I don't show like a, a lot of how I'm feeling. I don't, I try not to. And so I, I couldn't help it though. When they called, I remember when Mark called my number, I was like, what? Like it took me a minute. I thought, no, like this did not just happen. Am I dreaming? You know, like I had to wake up. And then I remember like, I couldn't even help it. Like I couldn't hold my emotions in. That's what, that's what I'm thinking here. Making their first celebration, Blue Ribbon Ryan is going to be injury number 406, Jim Delight and Sadie Fowler Parsons. The owner of Ryder from Nashville, Sadie Fowler Parsons and Jim Delight. Riding out of the lineup and out of the novice division as our A division winner, and owner of amateur novice Lady Ryder is on their skill. 
I, I just couldn't stop. Like, I cried a little bit. I was just overjoyed. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked, actually. Well, you, you can normally tell, <laughs> you know, when people, when they're in the lineup. Yeah. And they, they'll, some, of course, some people just know that they were real good and they're going to win. Uh -huh. We just know it. And then you have those that, bam, it smacks you in the <laughs> face that, hey, they just call my number. Yes. And it's, Is uh, that me? Hey. Yeah, that was you. me. Yeah, that's you. I was like, oh my gosh, and then I had to like, care. I was like, come on, Dim, like, let's go, like, wake up, you know. I remember, I just thought, like, I, I yeah, I was totally shocked. I was really shocked. I was really happy that my mom was, um, she was, I could hear her, I think, from a mile away, like screaming, cheering for me. Um, she came in from New York to watch, so I was really happy that she was there to see it. So it seems like a lot of times when I have a good ride, no one's there, you know, and, but. Um, I won't ever forget it. It was amazing. It was really um, a really incredible moment. And, you know, I just, going back, the fun part then becomes looking at the videos and watching everything mm -hmm. and, you know, seeing how I, I noticed really after the show, I was like, man, she really has gotten really good. She's filled out a lot. She's just a, a solid mayor, so. But you do know what that means, right? <laughs> no, what does that mean? You, you can never show in that class again. Oh, I know. Hey, you, you're done. I know. I, <laughs> I, I did. I'm on. like, what am I going to do now? I don't even know what's next. I can't compete with the other. I can't do it. It's, it's too many. There's too many great, amazing amateur riders out there. I don't know what's going to be next. Hey, hey we, we have a lot of fantastic amateur riders. Yes. But some of them have great horses. Some of them have not so great horses. Some of them are better riders than they have horses. Right. Some of the horses are better than the riders. So I've noticed true. that That's a lot. True. That's true. But when, when you can kind of mesh, and, and I mean, you, you've got some good trainers. Yeah. Now, there's no doubt about it. Between Kayla and Mama Kayla. Oh my gosh, she's the best. She's and the best. Tyler, you, you've, got a, you've got a group that can, you know, guide you and That's help so you. That's so true. It's such a great team. I just, I, I like absolutely love their operation. I mean, I love how much they love it. Like, I think I'm as obsessed with all of this as them, but they're so like all in and it's, you can tell that they love what they do. And so, um, and I think that along with their desire to like get you in the right spot, you know, I always say the hardest part about running any business or, or having success with a team is always like finding the right seat on the bus for right. each person. And so that applies to horses and riders too. It's like, finding the right division and, and where to put the horse and, and what rider is best with the horse or is it better to go with the trainer. So all those things like are factors and I'm like, I totally embrace their, their feedback and what they say and so far it's, it's working out pretty good. Yeah. Well, what's your plans for the next couple the next of months? Couple? Yeah. yeah, we got a couple of more months of show I, season. So I, uh, I just was talking to Jeanette on the way in here and um, I said, so we're going to Asheville with, um, so Dim will be in Asheville and then Straight Republican which obviously I'm really excited about him too. He's, he's good. He's fun, he's real fun. I really like him, he's a sweet horse too. Mm. He's very sweet. And then um, I have a couple of um, like more B-string horses uh, that I'm going to show in White Pine, which I love having like kind of like the yeah. top tier in another because mm -hmm. I love to show, mm -hmm. I show every day. You know, so, a lot of fun. Yeah, so we'll do that. And then we have one more show in Shelbyville. And um, you know, I don't think we're doing Tunica. It's too far of a drive, but I'll, you know, so I'll probably be there to watch. Well, I, I'll be at Tunica. I go for a three card poker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it goes. the money to pay for all of it, right? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I am looking forward to seeing you in the ring. Of course, we'll be covering the Shelbyville show, and I'm not sure whether CJ's going to Asheville or not, but I, I know the Balkans always go to oh, Asheville. Oh, yeah. So yeah, they're you'll excited. have a good show up there. Yeah, I'm excited. But I want to thank you for taking the time out. To, stop in and thank you for letting everybody me. know what it's like to win your first one. I know. I, I know. You do, and you don't want to forget it either, no, right? You, so this is good. Well, we're, we're going to have memories of it. How's that? Oh, good. All Excellent. right. Uh -huh. Thank you for thank coming. Thank you, Jerry. Okay. <laughs> bye.